Hello and good day guys. Welcome once again to the NQ Sports YouTube channel. Uh, today it's time to discuss about uh, some very very popular lifestyle retro sort of shoes which which can also be categorized as basketball shoes. Uh, and those two models which we are going to be discussing today are the Puma Majesty Rolf Samson edition and the Adidas Top 10 edition. Now, uh, if we have a look at the Puma Majesty, the Rolf Samson edition, uh, let me tell you that uh, Rolf Samson was a very, very popular basketball player back in the 1980s, um, way before Michael Jordan. Uh, came onto the scene. Uh, at that time, Rolf Sampson was a real legend and he used to be on the covers of magazines all the time and used to be the heartthrob of all the basketball fans around the world. He was extremely tall, well built, about 7 foot 2 inches uh, in height. Uh, some say maybe 7 uh, feet 4 inches and uh, he had a huge foot, uh, size 17, and um, Puma collaborated with him to make uh, this beautiful shoe uh, for his basketball court needs. Now this uh, Rolf Samson edition, which came out towards the late 70s to the early 80s era, uh, was a winner. It was a real winner at that time and a very, very popular shoe. It became very popular with the uh, non-basketballers as well it became a lifestyle shoe people used started wearing it in their normal uh, casual lives and sporting lives and um, of course uh, uh, as per comments made by Rolf Samson the person uh, who was designated to wear this shoe for the first time Rolf said that as soon as he slipped uh, his feet into this particular pair of shoes he felt extremely lightweight he hadn't worn anything as lightweight as these pair of Puma Majesties secondly the softness in this shoe uh, Puma also calls it the Puma Shockwave which is written over here on the midsole and of course the Puma cushion um, as they call it is written on the outsole if you look at the top of this shoe, it is made up of 100% leather. Now, it is extremely durable and value for money. It is highly recommended. And if you talk about the upper, there's a traditional uh, Puma swoosh, gray swoosh over here. And Puma Majesty is embossed over here in golden color. And the uh, uh, traditional Rolf Samson signatures in golden as well as the Puma Cat, Big Cat logo over here, also in golden. And along with that, we see these dark navy blue linings along the sole and the tongue area. Now, if you talk about the tongue area of this shoe, it is highly uh, padded and feels really comfortable. And the, the part of the uh, shoe over here, the ankle, uh, the ankle support area is also extremely soft and well cushioned because most of the basketball players back in the day and even in the in modern days uh, prefer mid-cut basketball shoes or high cut shoes so this shoe came into being and it became a lifestyle shoe then later on this was obviously uh, this shoe was discontinued with the Nikes and the Air Jordans and the Under Armors coming into the scene and um, making a huge name in the industry. Now, after about 30 years, Puma has uh, decided to relaunch this particular shoe, which they have done, obviously. And uh, it has attracted a lot of popularity amongst the basketballers as well as amongst other sports lovers, shoes lovers, because if you're looking for a comfortable shoe and a lightweight shoe and a good looking shoe then this Puma Majesty is 
a must have for you if you if you look at the adidas counterpart of this shoe which is the adidas top 10 uh, it comes in uh, several beautiful attractive colorways now the one in my hand is a whitish greenish uh, shade uh, with a greenish outer sole and the three adidas stripes in green color with the area surrounding the ankle also greenish in color now if you compare this shoe with a puma majesty you'll feel that this is a lot lighter in weight and the offset is also smaller having said that the top is of course 100 percent leather just like the puma majesties and the same level of ventilation is provided in this particular shoe as well as was provided in the puma majesty so um a lot of people prefer this shoe but uh, there are always drawbacks uh, to everything in life and the drawback to this shoe uh, which many think is that uh, because it is narrower from the toe area from the forefoot area therefore you must be buying a half, half a size or a size bigger because you just might uh, order one size and you'll find out that it becomes extremely super snug uh, or super tight uh, as you call it and you just won't like it if you compare it with the majesties the puma majesty is a lot broader in shape from the forefoot and on the contrary you might just like to order half a size smaller if you are going for this puma majesties so it pretty much depends uh, on the user uh, what he wants to wear if you look at the lace area uh, of course uh, this shoe as well as this shoe both of these offer the option of tying your laces uh, till the midfoot area as well as till the top of the ankle area it's totally up to you uh, whatever feels more comfortable and snugger for you you should go with that the uh, mid uh, midfoot area the midsole area right here here these are made up of the EVAs of course the EVA material the outer sole is rubber and the, the texture the texture the pivot the pivot point textures in both these uh, soles are pretty much the same and these are typically typically retro um, textures and typically retro shoes uh, to say the least uh, there, there are a lot of uh, variations in these shoes uh, coming into the market as well with the mid cut shoes the high top shoes as well as the low cut shoes uh, I, I'll, I'll just be showing you uh, a low cut shoe this is also an adidas shoe which is uh, which looks pretty much similar but it is a it is of course a low cut shoe we would be discussing this in detail in other shows but for today what we wanted to discuss was these two beautiful pieces of retro shoes and uh, if you want to uh, get your hands on one of these um, don't hesitate to order it order these right here from NQ sports and um, keep your suggestions coming in keep your feedbacks coming in as usual we value your feedbacks um, take care of yourselves your near and dear ones stay safe and until the next time it's goodbye